Hello. Recently, somebody asked me what I do to find direction in my cello practice. Now, that's actually a very interesting question. You see, for many years, I would see and mainly hear my father play the same tune over and over and over and over and over again on his electric guitar. And he didn't progress beyond that. And the question about direction made me realize that it was just that what my father was lacking. He was lacking direction. He didn't know how to progress beyond that tune that he had learned to play. To find direction, there are a couple of things that you need to bear in mind. Direction implies that you have a destination in mind, that you uh, know where you are going. So if you're traveling, uh, to find in which way you want to go, you need to know where you want to end up. For music and for cello in particular, you will need to know which songs that you would love to play, which genres that you love. Um, for me, I already had a couple of uh, songs in mind, uh, quite complex ones in some cases, uh, before I picked up the cello and ever since I picked it up, the list of songs that I would like to learn to play has gotten longer and longer and longer. But that's not a problem, eventually I will get there. Um, you also can wonder which genres you like the most. Do you like Baroque cello more? Do you like classical cello? Do you like blues, jazz, pop, rock? Do you want to become three cellos instead of two cellos? Um, so those are the things that you need to ask yourself. Also, to find direction, to find your goal, are you going to play for your own amusement? Which is okay, which is mainly what I intend to do as well. Or are you going to play for your friends and family? Are you going to play for a bigger audience than just friends and family? Are you going to play solo? Are you going to play in a chamber ensemble? Are you going to play in an orchestra? All these things matter in finding direction. Now, knowing where you are going doesn't necessarily mean that you also know how to get there. And that brings us to uh, part number two. Same thing with traveling, if you're uh, going from A to B, you might still need a GPS to tell you uh, which way you could go. And there are different routes uh, to reach your destination when you're traveling, but also different routes when you are learning to play the cello. Um, you could take, uh, for instance, you could take the Suzuki uh, method and go through all the um, songs in his uh, books. You could use uh, Alvin Schroeder's uh, Foundations, uh, which I have ordered and it's on its way um, at the moment that I was making this video. Um, you could also uh, work on a particular piece of music that you want to learn uh, to play and use that to improve your bowing technique, to improve your fingering, um, and so on and so on. Uh, you can do that on your own. Um, if you already have a background in music, which I hadn't, I guess that would be easier to do than in my case. Uh, or you can do that under the guidance of a teacher. And then in that case, the teacher uh, is someone who will provide structure. Because going somewhere requires structure. As I said a bit earlier in this video, ever since I started learning the cello, I found several new pieces that I would like to learn to play and actually sometimes feel like a little kid in a toy store. I don't know what I want to uh, play with first. And so you need someone who helps you structure that and who picks out some pieces for you based on what you're already capable of doing with some new challenges so that your teacher can uh, add to what you already know, so, you, so they can teach you new stuff. Um, and if you use that combination, you can go from a couple of pieces even that you had already selected, that you already wanted to uh, learn, and you can d discuss with your teacher what it is that you would like to play, and they can then select like, okay, in this song or in another song, um, there are these and these and these difficulties and he can actually in his mind or actually on paper and inform you uh, make up a spe specific uh, schedule. So basically that is how you find direction.
Part 1, you need to know where you are going. Part 2, you need to know how to get there on your own with the help of a teacher. Consider your teacher as a GPS. Um, which is a funny um, comparison, really. So, that was it for this, this video. I hope you liked it. If so, then by all means do give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have additional questions or if you have different uh, ideas on how to find direction, then by all means do leave behind a comment uh, in the comment section. The goal of this channel is to have uh, cello students of different levels exchanging ideas and so all your feedback is appreciated as well. Uh, if you want to see more videos like these then uh, by all means do subscribe. I make the videos on a fairly regular basis. It can vary a bit. Sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's once every two or three weeks. Depends a bit. Uh, but there are regular uploads and if you're subscribed you will get a notification of the next video. Thank you and see you next time.